Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. Today it's time again for Dimash, uh, the monthly reaction, uh, because I said in the last one from Unforgettable Day, that didn't count as the monthly reaction to Dimash, but this one is, it's December, and it's almost Christmas time. So before we start, uh, I'd want to ask if there is a specific performance from Dimash that I perhaps can react to specifically for uh, Christmas. So if you guys have any suggestions for that, leave them in the comments below. That said, the next one that I'm going to do is Daybreak. And I have done a poll yesterday on uh, on my channel because a lot of people suggested that I do both the, um, the singer version and the Basto version. And I believe in the singer version, there are some behind the scenes. So that's why I asked you guys, which ones should I do first? And most of you guys suggested that I first do the one on the singer competition with some behind the scenes and such. And then afterwards, we're going to react to the Bastao version. So if some of you guys only want to see the Bastao version or the singer version, there will be timestamps in the description below if you want to check that out. So first, let's check out the one on Gloria Wu's channel. That's the one with the behind the scenes. And there are subtitles in both of the videos. Before we start off, I'm going to read the description in this video uh, first so it says here Dimash fell ill before the eighth round in the singer competition after receiving treatment from a local doctor he defied the odds and delivered one of his most stunning performances find out the gripping true story behind daybreak and experience the song with translated lyrics sounds very interesting so he had problems with his health at that point in time uh, i'm very curious to see what he was able to do in that situation and i assume in the bastao version he was not ill um, so we're gonna see him in two different situations okay let's start off with this one with behind the scenes on the singer competition here we go 2017 Story behind Daybreak. Oh, the night before the competition, he lost his voice. That's not good. The music also gives a lot, lot more emotion. So they have this situation. They had this situation beforehand with other singers as well. <laughs> He's his idol. Nice. Oh yeah, this is in China, right? So he doesn't understand. So Dimash doesn't understand what he's saying. I assume, uh, or does he speak Chinese as well? I don't know. <laughs> He says, I'm a bit worried now. Let's return a little. Here we go. His high notes are riveting. So they say, don't force yourself. Arriving at the competition after treatment. He looks very uh, star-like, if you know what I mean. Like... Uh, a pop star, let's say. <sighs> Treatment is not working, he says. Hey, so is that other guy another contestant? Is that why? 
，之前我听说他嗓子状态不好，但是我希望他今天在台上有一个非常好的表现，因为他前几场真的会很累很辛苦。Good luck. I don't know what the last couple of rounds of the competition were、um, in his case and why it was so tough for him, but let me know in the comment section below. He says good luck in English. Yeah, I will try my best. Is this another round? Oh, this is the other guy, probably, or not? So the song he performs is the first Chinese song he has ever heard in his life, and that on a bad treatment, let's say, for his voice. I mean, not bad treatment, but a treatment that didn't work that well. Okay. He heard it when he was ten years old. 在他眼里，高音并不是一种炫技，是一种表达真挚情感。Yeah, ex exactly. Like he says, the high note that the high notes that Dimash sings are not to show off, but to express his feelings, and that it that that's exactly where people can can be mistaken about him. Like he's not showing off. Let's say, I mean, he he's able to show off, of course. Uh, but it's a way for him to express his feelings, because like if you、uh, noticed in in a lot of videos of him, after the performance he's so、uh, he's so humble and and、um, and gentle that it's probably hard for him to really express all these emotions to the fullest. Whilst in these performances he can really lay it all on the floor. And go full out, and that's probably a, a, a good way for him to、uh, to release all those emotions. I think that's nice. In his eyes, the high note is not a flash, but a way of expressing his feelings. We invite Dimash to bring the sky down for us. Daybreak. Okay. 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 Hong Hong original writer. So this is the original. Okay. I'm just trying to read everything here, guys. Loved ones are alive and well. She's very, very smart girl. She's very beautiful. I like she's. <laughs> Who is that? Is is that family of his? Oh man, I'm getting goosebumps already. Just. Is he calling to the original、uh, songwriter? Oh wow! Can imagine. So in 1991, a cable car accident took the lives of 14 tourists in China. One couple lifted their son out of the falling cable car to safety. They did not survive the accident. Oh man. Whew. Now, what does this has to do with the song? Is that why the song is written, or why he performs this song? Let's see. Han Hong wrote "Daybreak" to commemorate to commemorate the couple's ultimate sacrifice for their child. She later adopted the orphan, so the child did survive. Oh man, she later adopted the orphan. 
Jesus. So Han Hong is the woman that wrote Daybreak and then adopted the orphan. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see. He's already feeling it. <sighs> he must be thinking about what happened before. Guys, I'm sorry to pause already, but I gotta point out the subtle um, string plucking. I don't know of what instrument it is. Is it from the violins or from or from some sh kind of shallows? I don't know. But you hear the subtle staccato uh, plucking uh, on the strings, which gives such a fragile feeling. An intimate feeling to this intro to the song and he's starting off so how should you say it like uh intimate really intimate and i'm i'm feeling it already uh and i think he feels totally what happened before was it han hong who wrote this song, which gave her the inspiration to write this song. And then in combination with the struggle he has gone through just before this show, I think this must have been a very emotional um, performance for him. I want to hear that from the beginning again. He's breathing there, you see it. My God, these lyrics.
Oh god. Okay, so, oh guys, I, I really didn't want to pause it. I have to though, but oh my god. I don't know if you guys saw that, but that was very emotional at a certain point for me as well. Uh, it's just, if you place yourself in that situation, the lyrics are kind of written in the eyes of that, or from the eyes, from the orphan, from that child that lost his or her parents. <sighs> wow. This must be incredibly hard for him to, to perform, even with his voice completely intact. But now with this treatment, it's even harder for him to, to bring this and control this. It's such an emotional story. It's really good, I think, that I watched this one first, so I have a good understanding of the backstory behind it. It gives so much more value to this performance. You guys were right. I want to return a little so we can hear the end in its entirety. Alone in this world. This sounds like frustration. Like, why are you leaving me? This sounds so helpless. Breath control. Let's return a little. There was a technical difficulty over there in that point in time. That's too bad. Let's go. Oh, it's in the video itself. Oh, the breath in there. Everybody is feeling that. This is... Oh no, is that... Is that the original... Let, let's return. Is that the original songwriter with the orphan <sighs> my god it's the first time that i get like this emotional uh with one of dimash's songs or with one of dimash's performances because of this backstory uh and and th then the way he performs it just even just makes even more sense oh god Wow. Oh my god. Okay, so guys, I am not going to waste too much time. I'm going to go right away into the Basto version of Daybreak. And I'm so glad that I have an understanding of the meaning behind it. And 
that will give even more uh, to the experience, I think, of watching this. So let's go and check the one on Dimash's channel itself. Yeah, let's, let's go into this one right away. Uh, there are subtitles as well here. Oh my god, guys, I'm still... <sighs> it's the first time that I really am a little bit perplexed uh, because of emotions in this one. Oh my god. Without any further ado, let's just check this one out as well. Head hanging down. Chu I'm gonna pause this for a moment guys I, I mean it's, it's still I have to process this uh, a little bit um, it's so emotional and I want to comment on everything that is going on as well but it's very hard to really get excitement from the whole scene let's say because I'm so into the, the, the song and the way he brings it it's it's incredible and I assume here his voice is okay. He didn't have any problems right there in this performance. He sounds very stable, uh, even though he sounded pretty stable in the other one. But I think he's more in control in this one. Like the fountains behind him, that's probably a projection, I assume. I don't think they have real uh, water or fountains in there, uh, probably. Yeah, let's return a little and move on. Here we go. <laughs> He's really it's giving it so much energy. This part really sounds, and in the, in the last performance as well, this part sounds so, like he's so frustrated, placing himself in the eyes from the orphan, I don't know the name of the child back then, but putting himself in his place, being frustrated, like, I saw my parents die, why did this have to happen, why did you leave me, and leave all that frustration out, which is why he is going that high and giving that much power in this section of the song. Ah, oh, man. Oh, 
there was an ad guys sorry i will have to go back to another moment from here Papa, mama. Oh my god! even more crazy in this one than in the performance in the singer wow that is i don't know what to say guys the combination of the lyrics in the song the backstory behind the song the struggle with his voice and both performances I'm uh, I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of speechless. I I mean in the last one he he went even crazier with his voice probably as he had uh much more control in that situation I assume but even the first one they're both so emotional uh and and definitely like the first one which gives that that struggle with him and the communication with the original singer contacting him and the reason why she wrote that song that uh i there are really no words right now that i can give to do justice to this song and performance this is one that wolf would really like to react to i think uh hopefully he watches uh, my video, I think he will get emotional for sure in this one. Oh my god. Guys, look, I hope you appreciated my reaction to this one from Dimash. It's hard to say, like, I hope you enjoyed my reaction, but appreciated my reaction to this one. Uh, because it's not really joyful to have these sad situations and emotions but you can have so much appreciation for the songwriter and for Dimash for bringing it the, the way they did so I hope you appreciate my reaction don't forget to subscribe like and share the video also don't forget to check out my other reactions to Dimash in the description down below there will be some links here in the top of the screen as well I also have music videos for you guys to check out and tutorials so thank you very much and see you guys next time bye A lot of people suggested, a lot of people suggest, uh, with some, so if you want, uh, there will be, so without, so let's check, so let's first, so let's first check, so let's first check, so first let's, so let's first check out the one on Gloria Wu, uh, the one on Gloria, when, 
uh, Hanu, which gave her the which gave her the um, which gave her even with uh, his guys. It, it's I'm really so that I have so I have a behind the good under, a good understanding on Dimash Kubat. Yeah, let, let's just. Uh, in in the, in the of the of the of the t why why did they have and giving this of the lyric and the both of and the both and and the, and the also don't forget I have other reaction video also don't forget.